Hey guys, welcome to part 7 in our series of intro to PHP and MySQL. In the last video, we got everything rolling to start coding in PHP. But before we start writing awesome programs in PHP, I want to talk about a couple things that you're going to want to know. I want to talk about calling PHP info because it's going to be very useful to you. Or maybe it won't. It's really just your instruction manual for PHP. And uh, I'll show you guys what it is. So... Let's go up here to our index.php file that we created. And let's go ahead and echo. I don't know if we have to do echo. Maybe we could just do php info. I don't know what these are. These are parentheses. And then end it. And we're going to save it. And then we're going to go back to our browser and refresh it. OK, and it works. So we didn't have to hit echo. It just knew it. So this just lets you know what PHP version you downloaded. It's got all your server information. If if you ever needed to, uh, you know, check security security levels or your server API, all this stuff. I don't really mess around with any of this stuff. What do we got here? Zen multibyte support. Okay, I don't even know what that is. Configuration, Apache. Here's the Apache version that we download, 2.2.14. Server administrator, u at example.com. Host name, local host, loaded modules, a bunch of cache stuff, all uh, to assist with the browser, Apache environment. Okay, it lets us know what server we're on, how to call it. So we'd have to type in HTTP underscore host. Don't really worry about any, any of this right now. Uh, most of it probably will not make sense to you right now. But um, again, this is just kind of the instruction manual for the version of PHP that you downloaded. Let me scroll through this. Header information. Content type, text, HTML. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, I mean, look at this. And again, this might not make a lot of sense for the time being. But if you do ever need a question about your database or any version, what what it's being supported as, type in um, PHP info, parentheses, and then close it out with a semicolon. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.